So here's my video on Michael the Archangel. Every week I'm going to make it a habit, at least or either Sundays or Wednesdays, to do a video on Michael the Archangel because he's one of my favorite angels in the world. Um, Michael the Archangel represents all the protective forces in a person. He represents the throat chakra and in some cases the solar plexus from time to time. Um, Michael the Archangel comes from the word Mikhail, which means one who is like God. Now, before he was Christianized, Christianized, he was um, one of the protecting angels of the Hebrew tribes. Um, he's mentioned in the book of Daniel, in the book of Daniel 10, verses 13, and also in the book of Daniel, verses 12, verses 1, he's the angel who helps uh, deliver Daniel, the prophet who's thrown in the lion's den. Um, Mikhail, one who is like God in the Hebrew tongue, as, as he is called, um, he governs over the tribe of Judah as well. And one of his symbols is the lion. So <clears throat> those who are born under a strong Leo influence have a strong connection with Mikhail. Um, Mikhail also governs over many people born under a one influence as he acts as a leader um, against the armies of hell. Now, this whole good and evil game, I'm not so up for it, but sometimes when the occasion calls for it, we play sides when necessary. It's all a balance anyway, which is why Mikhail generally holds scales in his hand, representing the aspect of balance and how it's necessary not to completely kill the, de the devil, which represents, of course, a person's ego, but rather Mikhail is standing on top of the ego, representing something that must be controlled. Now, in the book of Daniel, <clears throat> and Tobit, and even in the book of Enoch, um, it emphasizes the role of Mikhail, Michael the Archangel. It shows that he is the guardian prince. Later on, um, during the Renaissance era, he's um, somewhat of a saint. He protects St. Catherine, St. Joan of Arc. You'll see the lore and legendarium continue as the legend of Michael um, spreads across uh, the known world until finally we have it here in the West, this idea of who Michael is, Mikhail, and you know, many people name their children Mikhail, but Mikhail is truly the angel of the sun. Some Kabbalists consider him the angel of intelligence as well, that he acts as an agent of Mercury as he protects information. Some say he guards over the tree of knowledge. And um, he's also the angel of um, beauty, Tiferet on the tree of life, which has the equivalency to the sun itself. So Mikhail is the guardian angel of the sun. <clears throat> I personally have a connection with him because I'm born on the 19th and I'm born on a Sunday, which is accredited to Mikhail's day. He is the archangel of Sunday and the angel of Wednesday. So those two days, I give him great acknowledgement. Um, his energy is very, very fiery. So... Um, Mikhail is a quite interesting character. Now, over the years, of course, there were prayers developed to enact a form of protective rite to, to bring, invoke the energy of, of Mikhail. There's an old prayer, you can say, in Hebrew. It's before me, Michael, to my right, to my left, and behind me, above me, guide and protect me. You can also say, Mimini Mikhail Mosmoli Mikhail Milafnai Mikhail Yahrai Mikhail Baal Rashi Mikhail. 
you'll feel a flaming presence, especially when you vibrate it, like me, 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 Kael, you'll feel the energy. <clears throat> Michael the Archangel's stones are ruby, and um, any of the um, amber resin families, um, kyanite, especially blue, connects to his sword. Um, Michael acts as the the uh, facilitator of knowledge between worlds. He protects. In some um, cultures, Michael also ferries the deceased, but this is in some cultures. Sometimes Archangel Azrael also shares the responsibility with him. So <clears throat> Michael is the leader of the thousands of legions of heaven. He has domain over the Orishas in the Santeria religion and in some Kimbanda sections of uh, Spiritism. Um, you have Michael the Archangel as head of the Orishas. He's the Archangel of Fire, where Gabriel rules over water, Raphael rules over air, and Arael or Uriel rules over the earth element. So. <clears throat> Michael the Archangel. You can bring his energy in for the sake of protection. I remember a few times, um, personal experience, before I got these, uh, these cards by Doreen Virtue, um, I remember when um, there were guys around the neighborhood and they were shooting um, what appeared to be BB guns and they were shooting towards my bus and I remember saying Michael, Michael, please protect me, please protect me. And I felt warm, like I felt this heat around my body. <clears throat> and um, the bullets stopped. They stopped the shooting. Um, another time, um, I was being, again, there was a crossfire. There was a shooting happening around a projects area. And um, I was like, oh God, Michael, Michael, please protect me, please. I was very, I was scared at the time, and I said, please protect me, and immediately I, I felt like bullets literally um, passed through me and hit the wall. It was strangest experience ever. So um, I have some a close connection with Michael the Archangel. A few other times, I can, I can name other instances where I was walking and I felt this... Um, uh, this danger, overwhelming danger, and I would call upon Mikael, and I definitely felt his protection. Uh, Doreen Virtue's books speak a lot about Michael the Archangel. You can pick them up in any holistic or metaphysical bookshop. So, <clears throat> the sake of my exercise, and now you know a little bit of why I love Michael the Archangel so much. Um, I use these for the sake of divination. Of course, you would knock on the cards, say Mikhail, 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 if you'd like to, or doing the, the Hebrew prayer, which I showed you earlier. Mimini Mikhail, Musmoli, Mikhail, Milafnai, Mikhail, Miachrai, Mikhail, Va'al Rashi, Mikhail. Take a few deep breaths and begin to shuffle. <clears throat> and we'll see what the message is. Here's a cute little statue, I love it. <laughs> Here we go. The message is new beginnings and a fresh start. Um, it's interesting this card would come up because guess what? We're entering into the new year of the monkey, the fire monkey, and it's a fire element. As we mentioned earlier, this is all about beginnings, and Michael works with fire. So new beginnings and a fresh start. You see Michael standing on top of a blazing sun. And the message reads, um, <clears throat> thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering me support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. We just got out of Mercury retrograde and we're moving into the new lunar year um, entering into 2016 and it's it's been a, a rough one for a lot of people who are expecting change 
light workers especially were expecting these new changes to happen already. We're like, when are we all going to start ascending collectively? And Michael promises that in time, the universal vibrations are balancing themselves out and just remain steadfast and remain determined on your goal and in your path and God is going to bless you. And Michael is going to help to to uh, orchestrate these turn of events which are going to happen to help build us collectively and as a whole. So the message is, yes, new beginnings and a fresh start. This is the time now. Um, spread this message of love and light always. And whenever you feel scared, Mikhail is always there for you. There are other angels, but he's my special friend and lifelong companion. Many blessings. Amen. Salah. Amen. <clears throat> Peace and blessings upon you eternally.